sad bird, sad bird, attacking us for six, the sad, sad bird, get out of here, sad bird, time to die, dead bird, sad, dead bird, sad, dead bird now, that's, that's what we have, okay, so now we have a couple of options, this one is upgraded, that's a random chance, a random chance to be upgraded when you get, when you can pick a card, uh, sometimes they're upgraded already, um, this will is zero energy, deal eight damage to all enemies. That's pretty good. It's good, good to have damage, free damage even. Uh, bowling bash. That's seven damage for each enemy in combat. Technically, technically worse. Technically worse than this, I would say. Um, and pressure points. That's an interesting ability. Uh, so the way this one works is. It applies eight stacks of a debuff called Mark. 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 My friend Mark. My friend Mark from work. It applies eight of him. My friend my friend Mark from work. It applies eight marks. And every time you play that card, the pressure points card, uh, they'll lose the amount of HP that equals the mark. So the first time you play it, uh, all the enemies, well, the way that it's worded is strange. So the enemy that you apply it to will lose H HP. And then the next time you play it, you could play it on the same one and it'll lose 16. Or you could play it on a different one and they would both lose 8. And it's interesting, but I think it's ultimately a little bit slow because you have to wait till you draw it so many times. Um, so while I like that, I think I'm going to go with the, the Consecrate, which this is not the this is not the stock it's not the stock image for the consecrate i just like the visual pun that they did for the beta card where they put it in a crate an actual crate consecrate well there's battle one there's battle one complete you find yourself in an old decorated chamber in the center of the room a large skull sits atop an ornate pedestal. As you approach, the skull bursts into flames and turns to face you. What is it you seek? What is it you offer? In sync with, with its final words, the door behind you slams shut. And <laughs> so we have the option of a potion. I did. I did beat Dark Souls Money Mills. Hooray. And and since you're asking Money Mills, we have a poll up. Right there. We have a poll up uh, that you can vote in for what you'd like to see next. I'm playing this as a kind of little fun time, a celebration for me. This one's for me, folks. This one's for me. I'm playing Slay the Spire because I love Slay the Spire. And on Friday, we'll start a new game, and you can pick what it is. You can pick what it is. The, also, Dark Souls 3 is an option in that. Uh, also, Sekiro. Um, we have a lot of different options. So, okay. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. What do y'all think we should do? Should we get a potion, gain 90 gold, gain, get a colorless card, or get out of here? All for 6 HP. Now, what I think, what I think, um, that potion would be pretty good because we have this thing that doubles the effectiveness, right? Oh, Aerosap says colorless. Okay. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Now, I think, you know, Aerosap, I'm going to pick, I'm going to go with your option. I'm going to go with your option, okay? What did we get? We got a, um, uh, where does it, there it is, a Panacea. This is a pretty good card. Uh, it's a good option, I think. 
as cards, pretty much. Now, uh, if you see, the real, the real question you were asking was, do you want to continue to lose HP? Because you have to pay 6 HP to leave. So you are stuck here until you also pay 6 HP to leave. So that's, so it's like, uh, I thought this was interesting the first time I got here because when I picked it, I was like, oh, obviously, why would I pick leave? I'm just going to get one of these. You get something cool out of it. But then you realize you have to, you're in it already. You've doubled up without knowing it. And so it like, it's like, oh, wow, they exposed my greed. <laughs> they exposed me from the greed that I have in my heart. And I, and I was made to suffer for it. Um, and so I thought that was a cool little thing when I ran into this the first time. And so now we have to actually ask ourselves, do we want one of these? Do we want another one? Or do we want to just get the fuck out of here before we lose all of our HP? Because we are, let's see, one, two, three, four spaces away from another big, big battle. So I think, I think, I think I'm going to get out of here. I think we'll get enough potions on our own. Um, oh, thankfully, thankfully that, that effect that we had also worked, where we lose one less HP. This is a great, you know, we lost half of our health to get this, but I feel like it's helped us so much. That was kind of worth it, you know? Okay, and this random event is a battle, a random battle. This guy, uh... He's not too difficult, but he can do some damage. Um, let's see. Uh, we have to get 12 or 11. We have to get 11 block to negate it completely. And we can do that with two mana. It looks like we can do seven and we could do five. And that would get us, that would get us there. So why don't we do that? Well, we can do that. going to do a powerful negative effect, a powerful negative effect, but th thanks to Aerosap, thank you Aerosap, you have protected us, thank you very much Aerosap, you have protected us from this powerful effect, and so now, because we have the artifact, it, that won't do shit, we're good, okay, so now we can go ahead and deal as much damage as we want. We are free. We are free now. Ooh, okay. We could take the 15 damage. Could take the 15 damage. Um, I would like to do this as well, but we can't. But you know what? Okay, I think it might be better to to go to go and do this. Watch. Okay, we're gonna go and strike. Regular strike. Then we're gonna go meditate. This will put us in the calm state. And then we can pick a card that we can have next turn. And what card will I pick?
whole nother turn. Oh, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. I'm surprised I'm, I didn't mess this up. I mean, there's still time. There's always time.
we have, um, I think, only the one card that does scry, though. A, a lot of these cards tend to have synergy depending on how much you have of one certain thing. And that's why it can be beneficial to kind of like build your deck in a certain direction, right? To build towards the scry ability, to build towards switching the stances, to, to build towards this or that, depending on what kind of what the, what the fates deal you, the cards that you have. You have to play the hand you're dealt, so to speak. Um, and I think I think we're kind of leaning more towards um, changing stances. We're in a stance dancing kind of kind of deck, is what it seems like to me. So I would say that um, things like like this and this would certainly be helpful, right? That would make this deal uh, gain ten block. But I think we're more towards this side of things. Like we're going to be like when you deal four damage and when you change stances, return it from the discard pile to your hand. We had this a couple times, we didn't pick it. But now it's being offered to us for 23 coins. So let's do that. Now, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, we have the option to get this. Option to get this. We have the option to get this. We have the option to get this. We have the option. I like how he points. I like how he points at it. We have the option to get this. We could get this. We could get that one right there. We could get this. We could get this right here. We could get this right here. We could get, or we could get this one. We could get this one. We could get this one. Or we could get a potion. We could get a potion. We could get a potion. We could get a or a thing. We could get 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 a thing. Lots of options that we have. Lots of options that we have. Um, I think maybe we might do this though. We might just get. These cards I might get one of, the, one of these, one of these stinky poo poo cards that we have. These stinky poo poo cards that we don't like. I'm gonna get rid of those stinky poo poo cards. Goodbye. Get out of my face, please. I don't want it. I don't want it here. Okay. Battle start. Now we have the option of doing some attacks on these cultists before they get started, before they get started in here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play this card, and every time we change stances, it's going to come back to us. So let's try to get down this guy first, the lowest HP. Uh, let's scry. Uh, let's... Four, six. I don't. I don't know if we can do it. I don't know 
take some damage. Oh, actually, no, we're not. I was smart. I was smart. I, I thought ahead, and I applied. Good thinking. I applied the ability where when we had to get, we're doing attack, we're gonna get. We got four block back. Good thinking. Good thinking. Sometimes you think so much you don't even remember that you had the thoughts that you thought, the, th the thoughts you thought you thought. So we've negated one of the 18s. 
damage, 20 life left, rather. Now, let's exit our stance right here. Get the nine, then we get the card back. We'll get the card back. And then we have five, so we could actually do this. We could probably pull this off right now. Let's go and do that. Okay. 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 I think, I think this is good. Okay. Deal eight damage to everybody. Boom. Do that. And then take an extra turn. Extra turn. And then. Oh, there we go. Do that again. Uh, go into vigilance. We get the flurry of blows back. Exit vigilance. And then we get the flurry of blows back. We use it. It's see that card. If you're if you're stance dancing like that, that card, it just keeps coming back to you. <laughs> Deceive reality with the VR goggles. Funny. Then we have tranquility and crush joints and deceive reality. Those are our options that we have. So this one's similar to that other card that we saw, where uh, it creates that other that other one that stays in your hand. Like so, using a deceive reality is a little bit underpowered, but then it gives you safety, which is a little bit overpowered. Um, so you have those options, right? Uh, you could you could either commit to two two mana and get sixteen block, or you could do one mana and get four block and save that for later because it has retain. And that's pretty, that is pretty useful, I would say. I think it's more useful with this than with the other one because you do enter situations where you don't always want um, block, but you never have a situation where you don't want to attack, right? Rarely, you rarely have a situation where you don't want to attack. Um, and then with crush joints, with crush joints, that's when you take, you know, you find the kid's marijuana stash and you're like, hey, this isn't legal. In our state, hey, and then you go and you just crush them all up. Man, what a lame parent. Come on, be cool, be cool, be cool. Anyway, um, crush joints allows you to apply vulnerable, um, and it's useful, but it's again with the one, with the one turn for that. It's it's sometimes hard to make use of it. It's sometimes hard to make use of these one turn status effects. Um, I could see it being useful uh, with vulnerable because, like, if you're having a damage turn, you can apply damage just for that turn. Um, this can be useful as well because you can get calm that you can enter it at any time. But I don't think we've been having a lot of trouble getting into calm. So I think I think we might go with this card. I think we might go with this one. Okay. Now here's a question. Are we strong enough to fight this guy, or do we have to heal? Should we go risk it and fight this guy, or should we go heal and live to fight another day? Because I think th the other option is to heal right after, right? And then go fight another guy. <laughs> so we're going to have two elite fights right in a row, with perhaps a little bit of healing. With a little bit of healing. Um, oh, Vox is asking me to risk it. Voxel's asking me to risk it. Oh man, Voxel Voxel wants this wants wants this run to end. Wants this run to end. It's tough. It's oh. we could we could. It's technically it would be more viable. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you're right, Voxel. You're right. You know, and I think. If you can't believe in yourself, who can you believe in? You know what I mean? You have to have the self-confidence. You have to say, I can do this. I can defeat this guy with 28 HP. I don't need more than 28 HP to defeat this man monster. I'm not going to take any damage. Oh, this is bad. I'm definitely going to take damage. I, I don't think I've gone through this fight without, <laughs> without taking damage before. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's believe in the heart of the cards. This, uh, our wonderful, 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 our wonderful
wonderful card that we got. We'll prevent this debuff. And so that's good. That's good. Alright, so uh, this little skull mark means that these guys are minions. They're minions. Uh, illuminations, illuminations, minions, despicable me. And this, this is Steve Carell right here. This is Steve Carell right here, and he is leading the minions into battle. Um, and if we can defeat him, uh, these guys will just run away. So we could just go right for him. Um, but these guys are going to be causing problems for us. Um, and he's going to be empowering them. He's going to be buffing them up. He's going to block it, and he's going to increase their strength for next turn. Uh, so eventually these guys will be dealing a lot, and we'll have to really, really contend with them. Um, the other thing uh, to note is that he will summon more of these guys. So even the strategy of just taking these guys out is going to be is going to be risky because you know if you can't do enough damage, he's just going to summon more, and then and he, on top of that, he also buffs himself. This is a tough fight. This is a tough one. Um, but we can do it. Voxel said we could do it. I believe in us. I believe in us. I believe that we can do it. Okay, so. How do we do this? That's the other question. How do we do this? Okay, this guy, this guy is 15 HP. This deals 15 damage. It seems like a match made in heaven. And this gives us six block. I see a connection here. Okay. So now we have the options to deal damage or block. I say block. Well, we have this. If you end your turn without block, gain six block. So technically, we don't have to block. Technically, we don't have to block. So maybe, maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we do a little bit of a strike. We strike on this guy. And he has an ability where he's going to gain one strength. So that could be a little bit risky. He's going to do, he's going to uh, boost up to doing six damage, but we'll get six blocks. So I think we'll be okay. Okay, and now he's 14. We could probably take care of him next turn. Okay. So he blocked that guy, he gave him three strength, and he gave himself three th strength as well. Um, so what we have to do with that, um, we would have to deal 20 damage to beat him up, or block for, for nine or eight, either one. Um, okay, so this, would, this will block us for eight with, with vigilance, and it'll put us in calm, um, and so that could, that could get it done. Um, and this question marks over his head. I believe that means that he's going to summon another minion. He's going to summon more minions. It's going to be uh, minions two. Minions two will be coming out. Um, and let's. Okay. So I think I think what we can do. I think what we can do is vigilance, and then we'll apply this so that when we attack this guy, we'll gain some block, so we can uh, have a little bit more breathing room. Oh god, there's so many minions now. There's so many minions. Arguably too many minions. Arguably more minions than there should be. We're really in it now. We're really in it. Uh, so we're gonna get it for five, we're gonna get it for nine, we're gonna get it for ten, we're gonna get it for twenty-seven. use one of our potions. We've got to use one of our potions. I'm going to weaken, weaken our friend here. Okay. It's a little bit more manageable. He's going to do um, 18 instead of 24. It's, it's something, right? Or 26. I don't know. Whatever, whatever it was, I forgot. Um, and we could do this where we deal 5 damage to all enemies. That could be useful. Could be useful. Um... This will give us five block. This will give us four. And if we use both, this will give us uh, 16 block. So we could get up to 20 block plus five. Well, this, like, like I said, this one's a garbage card. This is a garbage card, but we could use it. Um, I don't know why we would though. We only have three, we only have three mana. Um, so what we're gonna do? Uh, I think 
so then we'll end up taking 21 damage. 21 damage. That's not, that's not gonna, okay, we've gotta use another potion. We've gotta use another potion. Oh damn it, I should've. It's gonna, it's gonna waste it, it's gonna waste it. This is why you gotta think about these things. You gotta think three steps ahead. survived. We did it. That was, that was tense. That was a level of tension. Okay, we've got a fear potion. We've got a bag of marbles. We did all that and we got a bag of marbles. Jeez, but applying one turn of vulnerable to all enemies, it 
it's not that useful, but it's okay. It's okay. Adding a card to our deck. Never bad to do. Never bad to do. Unless it is bad to do. Um, there's our signature move, Beautiful Wrestling Attack. Uh, here's the pressure points. You can do 11 mark. We explained that card earlier. This one uh, being upgraded uh, merely does more mark applications. It was 8 before, and now it's 11. And this one, uh, Block and Scry. So that can be... That's just that's a good number of block. It's 9. 9 is a good amount of block per card. That's about double. About double the defense that we have. Um, so it's a good amount of block, and Scrying can be good for just making sure that we can draw the cards that we need to draw. So I might go with this card. Um, I mean, this this is... It's a fun card, but also it's expensive. It's expensive. So let's try it. Let's try it.
Oh, we only get scry three because um, we only have three cards in our, in our draw pile right now. Now, getting eruption is probably a good idea if we can if we can use it. If there's ever a time when we can actually go ahead and attack this man and be safe, um, I hope so. I hope so. Okay, six, twelve, twenty-four. Okay, I think we're good. We don't take damage this time. Phew. What a relief. What a relief. All right. He's gonna do thirty damage this time. Well, okay. Well, it's gonna be five each time, so it's gonna be twenty-five. Still a lot. Here's what we'll do. That was a good time. 